Hey, how's it going? This is Jeff Chandler, founder of Emerge, and I just wanted to take a few minutes to share some thoughts with you about resolutions and plans for 2023. This is a time of year that everybody's making plans, whether it's plans to lose weight, or maybe you wanna get closer to your spouse, maybe you wanna change jobs, whatever your plans are. I wanna share with you one plan that can actually make all your other plans come true. Let's go to the Word, okay? Jeremiah 29, 11, God says this, for I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you, to give you a hope and a future. Dozens and dozens of people that I've been speaking to have said, man, I've just really been through it over the last couple of years. Coronavirus hit in 2020, and since then, it just seems like there's been a lot of challenges, not just for myself, but also for everybody that I know. It's been a, a really weird era just the last couple of years. And what I'm believing for this year is that there's gonna be a turn for the better. I believe that God is bringing us into a new season as the body of Christ, and He's going to bring us into a season of healing where we experience sickness. I fell off of a roof. I had an accident, a car accident. I've had six surgeries in the last three years. And I know that I'm not alone in this terrifying experience of having all this bad stuff happen to me. I've talked to person after person after person who's had similar experiences. It's almost like an unprecedented um, time of tragedy. But what I'm believing is that God has plans for us this year in 2023 to bring us a hope and a future. I don't know about you, but over the last couple of years, I feel like I've lost a lot of momentum, lost a lot of time. Uh, I definitely you know, lost a lot of peace and I believe that God wants to give us that back this year. And so I was like, God, how can I gain the ground that I've lost? And he told me this. He said, what if there was one thing that you could decide to do, one plan that you could make that would help all of your other plans to come to pass? Matthew 6.33 says this, Seek first the kingdom of God and His way of doing and being right, and all these things will be added to you. The Bible also says that God's plans are higher than our plans, that His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So go for whatever's ahead of you this year, the things that are in your heart, but seek first the kingdom of God. I've been a control freak my entire life. And one of the things that I've had to learn is everything that He put in my heart, He has purposed in His plan for my life to see that it comes to pass. But that's not my responsibility. My responsibility is only to seek Him. And that takes all of the pressure off of us, except just to put ourselves before Him and go, God, today, I just wanna be who you want me to be. I wanna do what you have for me to do. Just be yours and seek you first. And in seeking Him first, everything else that's inside of us, that He's planted inside of us, that we see and dream about in our futures, will come to fruition when we seek Him first. Hey, thanks for watching. I wanted to invite you to come to our Bible studies every Saturday night at 6 p.m., 4600 Nelson Brogdon Boulevard, Sugar Hill, Georgia, 30518. That's at Church on the Hill, 6 o'clock on Saturday nights.